I might cross have taken all to leave and follow thee, destitute, displaced, forsaken, thou from his my own shot me. Perish every fond ambition, all of salt and hope and no. Oh, no. 
Please confess the scripture after me. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold, and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him, and show him my salvation. 
Amen. Kindly pray the following prayers.
in jesus name we have prayed amen god bless you in jesus name we bring you great physician our testimonies from our listeners god bless you as you listen our first testimony goes like this praise the lord a week to my fourth year birthday i was having a serious pain around my hip that i could not sit stand or lie down it was so severe that if i had to pee and no one was there to help me i pee on myself i did series of tests x-ray ct scan nothing was diagnosed my family and i started praying for god's divine intervention and healing i always connected to the great physician our program and prayed along i am here to say thank you jesus for healing me our next testimony goes like this praise the name of the lord hallelujah i'm testifying from italy in the month of january i contacted covid 19 for four good weeks i tested positive and was very sick it came to a point i started to hear voices telling me i would not recover but i kept rebuking the voice i kept following our father in the lord in all the online programs the great physician our program the mana water program and revival R. after praying with us after one great physician our program he said we should lay our hands in any part of our body that we had challenges i had no strength but with faith i laid my hands on my head and he said we should decree anything that is not of god in our body to get out in jesus name i did that immediately and i regained my strength and the next time i went to take another covid test i was tested negative praise the name of the lord may the all on the head of dr olukoya never run dry in jesus mighty name amen our next testimony goes like this praise the lord i would like to give glory to god almighty that answer prayers last week saturday and sunday i had problems with my ears but i attended the great physician our program and to the glory of god I am now okay. Praise the Lord. May God continue to bless Dr. Lukoya in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Another testifier writes, Praise God. I want to thank God for his healing upon my life. Last December, I was experiencing pain around my stomach. The doctor ordered a scan. I was very concerned. And I started praying with the man of water and great physician our prayer points. I anointed myself with the anointing oil, and when they finished the scan, the result came back negative. I believe God has healed me, and my healing is permanent in Jesus' name. I have come to return all glory to God Almighty. May God continue to bless Dr. Olukoya. Surely the Lord is in this place. Another testifier writes, Praise the Lord, I would like to share my testimony and return all glory to God Almighty. I was diagnosed for a protein S and C deficiency, and that was said to be the cause of recurring miscarriages. The test was carried out twice and the same result, and I was advised not to sit at a particular place for too long because of the deficiencies with no medications. I was then referred to see a hematologist for another test. Before I went to visit the doctor, I have been participating in the Mana Water Program and the Great Physician Hour Program. I'm not a member of Mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministries, but I don't joke with any of the weekly online programs. As God will have it, and to the glory of God Almighty, the result came out negative and I was fine with no traces of any deficiencies again, to the extent that the doctor was asking, how is it possible? I was told there was no medication, for it is an hereditary disease. I have come to return all glory to God Almighty. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our next testifier writes, I'm testifying to the goodness of God upon my life. And for experiencing his healing powers, early this year, I noticed dark patches and stiffness around the nipple side of my two breasts. I started using the anointing oil, mana water, to be rubbing it almost every day. I also normally smite the two of them when prompted by our Father and the Lord during the online services like mana water and Great Physician Hour program. This morning when I checked, all traces were gone. And now I'm feeling and looking normal. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Our next testimony goes like this. Praise God. I've been delivered from the spirit wife and no more sex in the dream. I know that my miracle is permanent. Secondly, during the Great Physician Hour program, I received my healing. And I've been having this dream of blindness. And I was actually having problem with my eyes. But during the service, I received my healing. I pray that my healing is permanent in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our next testimony goes like this. Praise God. I want to give glory to the God of Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. In March 2021, following a long time pain, which I assumed was ulcer due to many sessions of fasting, I was diagnosed with cancer of the colon. A lot of tests were carried out by the hospital to determine how far it had spread, but to the glory of God and to the surprise of the doctors, it did not spread at all. It was just in one place. This can only be God. Because I have had this pain for over a year now. Then I decided to go to the hospital. I had the surgery in April 2021 and it was removed. I did not go through any chemotherapy and I was not on any medication after the surgery. After the surgery, I never missed the Great Physician Arm or the Mana Water programs. Also, I started drinking only mana water. I went for re-examination in January 2022 and I was given an all clear result. This is the expression of the power of God Almighty. To God be all the glory. Hallelujah. I want to thank God Almighty for the life of Dr. Olukoya. May God continue to empower him with fresh anointing on a daily basis. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our next testifier writes, Praise God. May God continue to bless Dr. Olukoya during last week's Mana Water program. I received healing from eye pain. I've been feeling for days. I smote the affected area when he asked us to smite any areas we're having pains 21 times. I have not felt the eye pain since then. I've come to return all glory to God Almighty. Surely the Lord is in this place. Our next testifier writes, Praise God, I've been believing God for the fruit of the womb for almost seven years. And in the year August 2020, I joined the Great Physician Eye Program when Dr. Lukoya told those waiting on the Lord to lay their hands on their womb. I did as instructed and he prayed deeply for us. In September, I was confirmed pregnant and in May 2021, the Lord blessed my family with a bouncing baby boy. Thank you, Jesus. Our next testimony goes like this. Praise the Lord. I want to testify to what God has done for me during the online program, Great Physician Hour program on Saturday. I was having back pain and during the course of praying, Dr. Lukoya asked us to use our hands to smite wherever we're having pains 40 times. I smote my back and then I was healed. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me, for my healing is permanent. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Our next testimony goes like this. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I bless God Almighty for his divine intervention. I caught COVID-19 in the beginning of the year and the person with the history of asthma, I could not breathe. I was cold and I experienced serious fatigue. I listened to the Great Physician Hour program and I smote my chest when Dr. Lukoya told us to smite anywhere we're having pains 21 times. Any time I did that, I always felt relieved. Today, I tested negative without becoming a patient of isolation center. Praise the Lord. My testimony is permanent in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you would like to share your testimonies with us, kindly contact us on our WhatsApp number plus 234-704-291-3538 plus 234-704-291-3538 or you can send an email to testimony at mountainoffire.org. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. to 
Mission of Fire and Miracles Ministries, MFM, is a full gospel ministry devoted to the revival of apostolic signs of Holy Ghost fireworks and the unlimited demonstration of the power of God to deliver to the uttermost absolute holiness within and without as the greatest spiritual insecticide and a prerequisite for heaven is taught openly. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries is a do-it-yourself gospel ministry where your hands are trained for war and your fingers for battles. Through your prayers today, your lives will not remain the same in Jesus' name. Troubled <laughs> 
you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your friend in the School of Prayer and Deliverance, Daniel Olukoya. You are most warmly welcome to this great physician hour. The power of God shall single you out for honor in the name of Jesus. As you join us in this program, every grip of darkness in your life is broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. The Almighty God, who is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, will over-answer your prayers in the name of Jesus. Any pit the enemy has prepared to divert your destiny, to divert your benefits, shall be closed up by the power in the blood of Jesus. And tonight in this program, the great physician shall heal every injury and wound upon your body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus. And I decree upon you that every serpent and scorpion assigned to trouble your life shall be crushed to pieces in the name of Jesus. Every program of darkness opposing your greatness shall clear away. And every altar of affliction raised against your life shall scatter, shall scatter, shall scatter, shall scatter, shall scatter. And you shall recover tenfold every good thing that you have wasted. You shall recover them tenfold in the name of Jesus. Every good thing that you have lost, you shall recover them tenfold in the name of Jesus. All your wasted years shall be recovered tenfold in the name of Jesus. And any power that does not want you to lift your head shall scatter unto desolation by the power in the blood of Jesus. They shall scatter unto desolation. By the power in the blood of Jesus. As you join this program, the finger of God shall arise and rewrite your family history. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You shall bury every enemy assigned to terminate your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A sevenfold man. Amen, 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 amen. It's time to sing the anthem of this program. Great physician now is near and hear the footsteps of Jesus. That great physician now is near. The sympathizing Jesus He speaks the drooping hearts to cheer Oh, hear the voice of Jesus Sweet is not in seraph song Sweet is not on mortal tongue Sweet as carol song, Jesus, blessed Jesus, hear the footsteps of Jesus, he is now passing by, bear the bum for the wounded, even all who apply, as he spake to the sufferer, who lay at the pool, he said, Will thou be made old? Will thou be made old? Will thou be made old? Oh, come, will he suffer? Oh, come, see, seek so. See, the live stream is flowing. See, the cleansing was roll. Step into the current, and thou shalt be whole. Sing these songs loud and clear. Is life unto me? Oh, oh, Lord, is life unto me? Oh, Lord, I'm the gods. Who is life? 
Thank you for another garden that the great physician hour. Thank you, Lord, because it is written that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. All things were made by him. Without him was nothing made that was made. Father, we thank you because you have promised that oppression shall be far away from your children. Father, everyone who is connected to this program, let them be candidate of mighty testimonies in the name of Jesus. Let them have testimonies that will shock their friends and surprise their enemies in the name of Jesus. Let the deliverance power of God begin to operate now. Let the healing power of God begin to operate now. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Tonight we are going to listen to this message which has blessed many lives. God bless you in Jesus' name. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4. And tonight, we're looking at what I call the wonder-walking power. The wonder-walking power. Can I hear somebody shouting that loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Say it again loud and clear. The wonder walking power. Acts of Apostles chapter 4, verse 9. Acts chapter 4, verse 9. The lame man by the beautiful gates in the temple had been healed. He was by the beautiful gates, but he had a problem. But one morning, the story of that lame man changed. When the lame man was leaving the home that morning, if somebody said he was going to come back with a testimony, he would have argued. But just in five minutes or less, his life changed forever. The five minutes miracle that will change your life forever will happen in your life in the name of Jesus. That amen is very weak. And now the apostles were being aroused. For the healing of this man. The art to defend the healing. This is a very sad situation. Those who were coming to the temple. To pray or to call on God. Were not happy that somebody who has been lame. Since they knew him is now walking. That's why the Bible says the art of man is desperately wicked. 
in Acts chapter 4 verse 9 they began to speak say so if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man by what means is made whole be it known unto you and unto all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth whom he crucified whom God raised from the dead even by him does this man stand here before you whole this is the stone which was set at not of you builders which is become the head of the corner he now went to one of the most powerful statements in the whole of the bible neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved no other name no salvation elsewhere apart from the name of jesus and verse 23 and being let go they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them and when they had that they lifted up their voice to god with one accord and said lord thou art god which has made heavens and earth and the sea and all that is in them who oh, by the mouth of thy servant david has said why did the eden rage and the people imagine vain things the kings of the earth stood up and the rulers were gathered together against the lord and against his christ for he took against the holy child jesus whom thou hast anointed both Herod and Pontius Pilate with the Gentiles and the whole of Israel were gathered together for to do whatsoever their hand and their counsel determined before to be done and now Lord behold their threatenings say Lord God look they are threatening us and grant unto the servant that with all boldness they may speak thy word by stretching forth thy hand to heal him and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of the holy child Jesus and when they had prayed the place was shaking where they were assembled together and they were all filled with the holy ghost and they speak the word of god with boldness the wonder walking power miracles signs and wonders play a very major role in scripture particularly in the early church the good news is this the days of miracles signs and wonders are not over for Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is still the owner of the wonder working power. That's what that songwriter said. There is power, power, wonder working power. In the blood of the Lamb, there is power, power. Wonder walking power in the precious blood of the Lamb. We need that wonder walking power in our lives, in our midst today. People need to know the God of signs and wonders and the God of miracles. There is a power that is above all powers. There is a power before whom all other powers bow. There is a power that can go from village to village, from city to city. There is a power which is known as the imperial power. There is a power that can swallow all other powers. There is a power that has no respect for impossibility. There is a power that will wait for the doctor to write all his diagnosis and then cancel it. There is a power that is called the dominion power. There is a power that is called the dismantling power. There is a power that makes it alive. There is a power that make it rich and make it poor. There is a power that kill it without hands. There is a power that make all things to consist. There is a power that changes dry bones. There is a power that speaks creative words to things and things will begin to create themselves. There is a power that invites living winds to blow onto dry bones. There is a power that destroys stagnancy and eliminates decay. There is a power that provokes angelic violence. There is a power that raises both physically dead and spiritually dead. There is a power that kills diseases in the body. There is a power that speaks words that is respected even in the grave. There is a power that scares away even death. There is a power that makes a man or a woman to swim in the healing waters. 
There is a power that unless coughing spirits, no matter how dangerous they are, there is a power that can grab the key from the enemy and put the key back into the hands of the oppressor. There is a power that can speak destruction unto stagnancy and decay. There is a power that will ignite the kind of revival that the enemy will not understand where it's coming from. It is the wonder working power. There is a power that spoke in that day and Joshua spoke to the sun and the sun stood still. Joshua said, Son, be thou still. Meaning that God can suspend all physical laws because of you. God can change the rules because of you. He said, Son, stand still. And the son stood there for hours until Joshua finished the battle. I'm praying for somebody who says men can be very loud. That every law that needs to be suspended for you to experience massive breakthrough, that law will be suspended in the name of Jesus. You shall be suspended. 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 In the name of Jesus, let your ever roar like thunder. There is a power that made water to flow out of a rock. There is a power that makes oil to come out of flinty stone. Meaning that no matter how hard the situation may be, no matter how difficult the situation may be, God is able to bring out your own breakthrough. No matter how many people are hungry, no matter how many people are broke, God can bring you out of the place and satisfy your needs. No matter how difficult they say the person is, and how hard the situation is, God can move in there and bring out what you need. That is what miracle of water from the rock, only from the flinty stone represents. I'm praying for somebody. Every satanic rock that is caging your breakthrough shall be scattered. In the name of Jesus, they shall be scattered. They shall be scattered. They shall be scattered. In the name of Jesus. We're talking about the wonder working power. It's the same power that parted the Red Sea so that God's people could cross. There was a publication in a British newspaper that scientists are now beginning to agree that the Bible record of the parting of the Red Sea may be true. They now discover that there are some winds that can actually blow those things and separate it, confirming the Bible record. Although it was a miracle for the Red Sea to part and water to become like wall. But another great miracle was for the insanity in the head of Pharaoh to have entered. You did not know who separated water. You have never seen it before. All of a sudden you see water is separated, it's becoming a wall. Only insanity will make a man to jump in. When you don't know what will happen, when you jump in. I pray that any witchcraft power assigned to trouble your life shall receive divine insanity. In the name of Jesus. Let your evil rule like thunder. In the name of Jesus, let your amen roar like thunder. The miracle of the Red Sea is showcasing the God that can make a way for you where there is no way. Is that wonder working power to you that made somebody to throw a light stick on top of river and the stick went down? And iron came up, which is completely against science. Because that one that sank, the density is high, it's on the ground. The stick threw up the iron and substituted. Meaning that God can make a substitution that will move your life forward. He can remove any heavy weight, any anybody, if that is what you need to move your life forward. In many cases in scripture, the dead were raised to life. The son of the widow of Saliphat was raised to life by Elijah. Elijah raised up the Shunammite woman's son. The wonder working power. The three Ibu children in the fiery furnace. God was the fourth man in the fire. And they were delivered. God showing that the wonder working power of God can deliver from any trouble. That widow that was broke, that had nothing to feed the children upon, and the debtors were looking for her. 
there was oil throughout. God is a God of providence. As you read through your scripture, you will see the wonder working power of God over and over and over again working. Jesus changed water into wine, a wonder working power. Jesus walked on the water, a wonder working power. Jesus took money from the mouth of a fish, the wonder working power. Jesus took a few loaves and fishes and converted it to feed 5,000 people, the wonder working power of God. Jesus commanded the storm to cease, the wonder working power. Jesus got to the tomb of Lazarus after praying quietly to his father. He now turned against the spirit of death and hell and said, Lazarus, come forth. And the man came forth, the wonder working power of God. I want you also tonight to call upon that wonder working power when the time comes. With that wonder working power, nothing is something. With that wonder working power, if what you desire is not available, God creates it. With that wonder working power, somebody who is a complete non entity just becomes somebody. With that wonder working power, that power will advertise God when everybody has given up. That wonder working power. Is the surgeon that does not need to touch the patient for surgery to take place. It is that wonder working power that can convert empty to overflowing. When all doors of solution are closed, it is that wonder working power that can move in and force the door to open. I'm praying for somebody, all the good doors the enemy has closed against you shall be forced open. Shall be forced open. Shall be forced open. Shall be forced open. In the name of Jesus, it is that wonder working power that converts liability to assets. It is that wonder working power that converts failure to success. It is that wonder working power that converts rejection to acceptance. It is that wonder working power that converts lamentation to laughter. It converts all trials to testimonies. The God of that wonder working power shall start a battle for your sake tonight that will move your life forward. In the name of Jesus. Why do we need to call upon the wonder working power here tonight? It's because plenty of Pharaoh are troubling our destiny. Why do we need to call upon that wonder working power? We need to, so that evil kings will not reign over us. Why do we need to call upon the wonder working power of God tonight? We need to, because plenty of Goliath had risen against the children of God. And all the Goliaths need to be disgraced. Why do we need to call upon the wonder working power of God? In many places, believers have been harassed and punished. Long standing yokes are boasting against the Christians. The cries of family idols are dragging some people to despair and failure. We need to call on the wonder working power of God so that we can demonstrate to the world that the God of Elijah is still on duty. There is somebody tonight who needs to call upon that wonder working power of God so that the reign of your mockers can be terminated. We need to call upon that power tonight to come on and do great wonders in our midst. It is unfortunate that many believers have lost faith. Some pray, but the prayer is at the lip. Some Christians even feel that God has gone on holidays. We have not taken enough action to make heaven suspend all activities and attend to us. The power of God is available. But we are not bringing it down to mediate in our situations. Listen to these points, beloved. This hard facts before you start praying tonight. The scope of your vision will be determined by who you believe God is. That's the scope of your vision. If there are certain positions, certain levels, that if somebody says, excuse me, do you know you are going to this particular level? And he said, <laughs> we are prophesying. Is it in this world or the next one? 
the scope of your vision will be determined by who you believe God is. I want you to know this very, very well. And to understand this very, very well. Two, any time God presents a significant opportunity, that opportunity is usually enveloped in a crisis. Or it is connected to danger. And it comes at a great cost. So all those problems you are seeing, as far as heaven is concerned, they are raw materials for miracles. Point number three, if you don't believe God for the impossible, then you are a slumbering Christian. You don't believe God for the impossible. That the way they say it's not possible, God just makes it possible. Then you are a slumbering Christian. Number four, if the vision you have for your life is not intimidating to you, then you are an insult to God. The vision for your life, the way you are seeing what you will become, does not intimidate you. Your life is an insult to heaven. If you keep saying yourself, no, 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 we need to wake up and do something quick. It's unfortunate. Many believers are not doing what they are supposed to do. Many are not keen to the power of God. It's very sad. Plenty of the houses that we are living in, that many are even not able to parent, the owners of the, most of those houses cannot even read or write. Many of them cannot read, they cannot write. And they have six houses, seven houses. But those who have gone to school, they don't really know how to bring down the power of God to work for them. So if you want to see what God can do, you want to see what God can do, then mad faith is not optional. Mad faith is not optional. I'm praying for somebody that the kind of faith that will move your destiny forward will overshadow your life in the name of Jesus. Let your amen be loud and clear. Let your amen be loud and clear. This is where we are so, so different from our ancient fathers in the faith. So, so different. So, so different from us. Kind of faith they exercise is just above us and above us. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Do so very quickly now, so that you can benefit from the power of the wonder working Jesus. Just raise up your right hand where you are and say what I'm going to say after. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from now, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, amen. I thank you for your children who have joined this program. Meet each and everyone at the point of their needs. Do great, marvelous, wondrous, outstanding things in their lives in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 I thank God for those of you who surrender your life to Jesus Christ in this program. God bless you in Jesus' name. You've taken the most important decision in life, and I'll guess with you. For more information, counseling, and prayers, Kindly send your name, your address, your telephone number to the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. You can also send us an email. The email address is also displayed on the screen. And we shall be getting across to you shortly. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. All eyes closed. It says, for there is no salvation in any order. For there is no other name given under the heavens by which you might be saved. No other name. And when you call upon that name, things begin to happen. What I want you to do now is this. We are going to pray the first prayer now. But you are going to call on Jesus. Several hot times. You said Jesus. Jesus. Several hot times. By your wonder walking power manifest in my life. You call him several hot times. Something is already happening. The louder you call your own Jesus, the better. Remember blind Bartimaeus. Who said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. They silenced him, but he continued. Don't be silent here tonight. Things have to happen in your life. Are you ready now? 
Yes. Someone with an incurable disease. That disease has been shaken out of your body now. I have a word for somebody. The Lord said before Sunday, you are going to have five testimonies. Thank you, Jesus. Every pain in the leg, the pain in the backbone, the pain in the eyes. Right now, the arrows are going back to the senders. The healing power of God is moving from person to person. Aha. Now lay your hands. If you have any infirmity on your body, this is time to lay your hands upon it. I'm going to count seven. After the count of that seven, a volcanic eruption of the power of God fall upon any infirmity here and the infirmity will have to find its way out the one in the eyes the one in the chest the one underneath the armpit the one in the womb at the count of seven the volcanic eruption of the power of God and the thunder wonder working power will come upon you where you are when it comes upon you you may not be able to stand on your feet but don't worry on the floor where you had the, the, the divine surgery will continue. Makatenda yaboshendera basanda. Ribo sepida katenda rabasanta. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I seven. That's the wind of the fire. Is blown upon you to remove the plantation of infirmity. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. That's the word of the Holy Ghost. Aha! The arrows of infirmity. They are going out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Aha! Aha! That which you have eaten or swallowed. That the enemy has been using against your destiny. Fire is burning your stomach. And it's coming out. Ouch! Ouch! Aha! That's right. That's right. That's right. Every plantation of darkness in the womb melts away. In the name of Jesus. You will shout the name of Jesus seven times again. You will not say, by your wonder-working power, let my story change. Open your mouth and pray. That's right.
Shanta. Give you one minute to check your body now. The Lord has done some outstanding things here. Check it very well. If you can't breathe, begin to breathe well. If you can't use any organ in your body, begin to use it. If you have any swelling in your body, check it, check, check it up. Masika Polakada. Something is up. Yes, turn that neck, that neck. You find that the pain in the neck has disappeared. Thank you, Jesus. Check your body very well. Masanda Kaya Boshendera Boko Polabasa. Yes, Jesus. With a loud voice again, this particular prayer will cause chaos in the camp of the enemy. You will call Jesus again, say, by your wonder-working power, pursue my pursuers. You will call his name several hot times. Open your mouth and pray. Pursue my pursuers. Pursue them. Pursue them. Pursue them. Pursue them. Masente kayabo shente raba. Aha. Receive your healing now. That healing power of God is flowing into your body, soul, and spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha! In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence now. Let there be silence now. That wonder working power is flowing into the blood of somebody. And as it's flowing inside your blood, the yoke of the agent of darkness upon your life is broken completely. There is someone right now you are struggling. But within the next 10 days, your struggle will have come to an end. Thank you, Jesus. Bosente kaya bosente raba. Ribo sepela kaya boko shente raba santa yaba. Mana kantenda rabo sento. I someone you have been told to live with this infirmity forever. But check your body now. That arrow of the spirit of death has come back to the sender. That's right. Aha. Within the next five minutes. There are people, the enemy has suffocated their businesses, 
and stolen their careers. But a transaction has started now. We shall conclude within the next five minutes. And your testimony shall be great. Aha. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Silence, beloved. Silence, beloved. You, that person over there, receive divine surgery in your breast, in your womb, in your breast, in your womb, in your breast, in your womb, in your breast, in your womb. Your breast, your womb, 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 your breast, your womb. Aha. Yes. Every opportunity that you have lost, you are regaining them now. Go set Regain them now. In the name of Jesus. With a louder voice than before, you will call on the name of Jesus again. And you will say, by your wonder-working power, let my Goliath die. Open your mouth and call on his name. Silence again. Yes. Aha. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The powers that have been sitting on your marriage have been unseated now. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Father, let all the testimonies tonight be permanent. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. Now, with a louder voice than before, we will pray one of the most powerful prayers in the Bible. You call on Jesus sevenfold again, and you say, By your wonder working power, let my enemies scatter. Open your mouth and call on his name. Raise up your right hand to the heavenly now. Father, we thank you for these hands that are raised up. We thank you for your grace, your power, your love and might. Let this hand become your battle axe. Let this hand become the hand of healing, deliverance and power. 
As they use this hand to smite any sick, paralyzed sickness, go back to the senders. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. With only aggression, smite any area of your body where there is infirmity, and the infirmity shall go back to the sender. Shout, go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Smite the place vigorously 21 times. Let's go. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Check your body now. Begin to do what you could not do before. Put your faith into action. Yes, the hand of God has touched you. The chain upon the neck is broken. The chain upon the waist is broken. The evil material in your chest has been taken out. The poison in your body has disappeared. The migraine has disappeared. The terrible, painful menstrual period has been resolved. The hand of God is upon you. The glory of God is moving all over your body. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. Father, I thank you for your children who have joined this program. Let your hand be upon them for good. Mobilize heaven to help their lives. By the time we meet again, let them become greater bundles of testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 And let us share the grace in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven glorious hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 I believe that you've been blessed by the program. Kindly join us this next Saturday for the Great Physician Hour at 2130 WAT, ministering Dr. D.K. Olukoya. There are adversities in life that may slow, counter, and even cause you to lose hope. Lose hope. But don't, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Facebook 15, 16, 17 of September 2022 and be a part of the September Facebook Mid-Month Outreach live with Dr. D.K. Onukoya Tag crossing your Red Sea crossing your Red Sea and God divided the sea for his children to go through and indeed he did let the glory begin clock, clock, clock in 11 p.m. 11 o'clock 11 o'clock W.A.T. Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Position for marriage is the theme for the Gen 20 September edition of the Marriage Congratulation Program that will take place on the 24th of September 2022. This gathering of singles will be held live. Dr. D.K. Onukoya, the General Overseer of the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries Worldwide will be ministering from the MFM International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. This program will be made available on our social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. 0800 WAT The Gen 20 Singles Marital Congratulation Program Position for Marriage Come be a part of this event for a new chapter in your life. Jesus is waiting for you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries Surely the Lord is here.